Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 9th, 2019. Well, my goodness, we face quite an interesting market this morning, and it's going to be really interesting to see how the market responds to what is going on well first off let's talk about that for a second last week we had a massive rally that ended on friday in a really big move after a bloomberg report cited some unnamed um, sources that we were getting close to a trade deal and then um, the director of economics came out uh, larry kudlow saying that they were inching toward a potential deal helping to create that rally and pushing us back higher but now this morning, all of our futures, the futures markets are very, very flat. And we have some big decisions that um, are pending and who knows where the market goes from here. Um, first, what we have going on is December 15th, we have scheduled a scheduled tariff increase. And of course, the president has been using that as, as kind of his leverage to get a uh, the phase one trade deal complete with China. So we're trying to figure out this week whether or not we're going to have a trade deal before that December 15th deadline, or if the president is going to remove it, extend it, what is going to happen. We're waiting on that decision, and that decision can have serious ramifications for the market. If the president were to go ahead Ahead and say look China here it comes uh, we have tariffs coming into place next Sunday um, the markets not likely going to respond very happily to that however if he does pull it or extend it or something along those lines we could see this market breaking out to new highs soon so pretty interesting setup here uh, for this week and it's as if the market is just kind of tiptoeing along on a bed of pins and needles not exactly sure what to do with itself today and as traders we're going to have to be very very careful um, how we uh, approach this market because anything is possible depending on those decisions that get made and uh, we could see some very quick and substantial moves as a result of those decisions so we're going to have to remain quite flexible as well let's take a look at the indexes here and see what the technicals are telling us here in the chart first you got to give it up to the bulls the bulls are certainly in control here they've rallied right back up after that big ugly move down last week and we're approaching these all-time highs in the market so the diamond's still being controlled by the bulls still holding up very very well and this morning we're looking at just a slight a slight pullback in the market the market just seems to be again on pins and needles what comes next we don't really know as we push up toward those highs so one of the things you want to think about is first the market is very bullish the bulls are in control everything is going on here but we also have to remember that if we fail here if we were to fail here and I'm not certain I'm certainly not predicting that remember I said the decision could break us out to all-time new highs or break us down and if we were to break down here we have to keep in mind as we approach that resistance high we are also in that situation where we could be creating a lower high or even that possibility and I hate to point this out but that possibility of a head and shoulders high. So a little rest and consolidation out here um, as we wait for that decision um, is probably a good thing after we rallied um, over 675 points in the Dow itself, rallied over 675 points in these four days. So pretty interesting move up. And now we have an interesting pattern that we have to deal with. So just keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully this week as we wait for that decision um, to, um, well, tell us which way the market's going to go maybe. Let's take a look at our moving averages here and just notice that 
we're continuing to stay bullish and long term we are still very very bullish in this market so just keep that in mind um, there's no reason for panic here but there certainly is reason for a little bit of caution and to be a little bit careful as we approach um, that decision point let's take a look at the spy spy boy it came so close within a breath of breaking out to new record highs here in the spy just wasn't quite able to hold on to to that so just keep that in mind just not quite able to break out means uh, resistance did its job resistance held and as we have this indecisive um, decision this morning, um, you can see that we're getting just a teeny, teeny, tiny little push down here this morning um, in the SPY trying to decide which way it's going to go. And it's certainly possible that the bulls can find enough inspiration and some earnings or something like that to maybe push on through and get that new record high out of the way today. But unless it, it breaks that high remember we have that possibility of that failure pattern here if we were to get new tariffs i don't i don't want to predict anything here because i think it's impossible to know what that decision is going to be we're just going to have to trade what we see and stay focused on that price action Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's also uptrending, moved up very sharply in the last four days of trading. Had a great day on Friday. This morning we're looking for a little teeny tiny decline in that. So keep that keep that in mind. We have that same pattern setting up here, that bit of a um, head and shoulders pattern that could be forming, um, and it's really just going to depend on that decision that we uh, that we make about tariffs. That's likely or trade deal that is likely to move us around here and last but not least iwm iwm actually made a breakout notice that popped out made that new high now this is a long ways from being a record high but it made that new high and i'd suggested that iwm may be the place uh, last week the place where there may be a better opportunity for some upside move because it actually held some support levels rather than breaking down support as uh, the diamond spy and Q's uh, did last week we actually held some price support here and rallied up but it was unable to hold that throughout the day sellers brought that back down closing it just a teeny tiny bit lower and as you can see this morning we're looking at a little bit of a gap so um, just a gap down so just be careful a little bit of bearishness this morning as those futures continued to dance around flat to negative um, this morning so with that, let's take a look at um, some of the things that are affecting the market today. First, we have our economic calendar. Our economic calendar really doesn't have anything on the calendar that's likely to move us around today. So very, very light economic calendar for the day. And unlikely, we're just going to be kind of focused on the news. Now, there is a possibility where we could get some events this morning that could help us a little bit in the earnings reports. And we have about 27 companies reporting earnings today. Um, uh, Casey, Casey's will be reporting earnings today for one. Chewy, for all of you pet lovers out there like myself, Chewy. Um, reporting earnings today. We'll have uh, Toll Brothers reporting today. Um, MTM, excuse me, MTN reporting as well today. But these are not the kind of companies that I would expect to really drive us dramatically. So we'll want to um, watch those pretty darn closely as um, as they come along, but I, uh, they can really be significant if you happen to own those companies, but I doubt they're gonna be the kind of uh, companies that really drive the market today. So we'll wanna watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX, pulling back on Friday substantially. And I'm gonna put some drawings here on the chart. You can see I've drawn out some support resistance levels in the chart. And the good news is on Friday that pulled back, but we're holding right here. 
there's an intermediary uh, support level right in here. And we did end up holding on to that at the end of the day. Now with the future showing just a little bit of bearishness this morning, we could see that hold right in this area and maybe even lift back up. Now, technically speaking, that doesn't really, you know, fear and greed is one of those things we always deal with in the market. But right now, if I look at this chart and really try to analyze what's going on here, we're still within a downtrend on the VIX. However, this if this does create, in fact, a higher low, then we have this situation where we have that higher low. We could be building a wedge type pattern here in the chart, but I don't think it's gonna be at all critical unless we break through. If we see some fear really creeping in here, we break through this area and this downtrend line. I don't think we're gonna see any major ramifications of that unless we get that news report saying that, hey, tariffs are going into effect or there is no China trade deal or something along those lines to to really spike up that fear just keep in mind we've rallied this market a huge amount in test in in, in anticipation of a deal if if we don't get that deal if tariffs increase if the house passing their the bill last week that kind of well chastised china um for their detention camps um raises enough tensions and it seems to have this morning uh this morning china is accusing the u.s of violating international law with this bill so it's going to be kind of an interesting situation um as those tensions seem to be growing here this morning anyway and um we've got this train deal pending out there um what could actually happen so just watch that pretty closely. Fear could spike up very, very fast. And remember, I, I had mentioned several times that when we were down in this area, we always want to watch for that that complacency getting kind of getting in the way. Everyone expecting the market can't fail. And then all of a sudden we get these massive fear spikes. Well, we had that fear spike, but we didn't break out. So that fear spike was did come into play. But as this pulls back, if that occurs again, if we get that higher low and fear really comes in, we could have some problems there. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we'll get calmer heads, a deal will be struck, and we can see that VIX uh, drift back down. So just watch that pretty closely as we progress through the week. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is, is a four week new high, new low ratio. I get so many questions about T2122, asking where to find it and all of those uh, things. I, I'll tell you guys that I don't know. I would just do a web search if you want to find it in a, some other place, and I don't know where it would be. I use uh, TC2000 for my charting, and I highly recommend TC2000 for charting, and this is part of um, the TC2000 platform. And T2122 is one of those great little indicators that just always produces really good information. So when we reach up here into these top areas, you can see I've marked out 90 and 100 here. When we reach up in this area, it's telling us that we are in a bearish reversal zone, that area where we may have stretched just a little bit too far too fast. And you can see uh, shooting up here in the last few days, um, we've rallied up pretty darn strongly. And as we reach up here and we're approaching those resistance highs in the chart, this is showing us that possibility that we could be reaching a short term, and I mean a short term, overbought condition. So this little pullback today may be just what the doctor ordered, but it happens around such a big pending decision as to what's going to happen with those December 15 tariffs that it's a little bit, like I say, just resting on pins and needles. Um, so watch that closely as we approach up here into that bearish reversal zone as we hang around up here. Perhaps a little rest or consolidation will will shrink that back down significantly. We'll have to wait and see. But right now we're just right at that point where uh, we push too much higher. We're going to be hitting right into those resistance levels and and um, overbought in the very very short term. So watch that closely.
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, I want to wish you uh, great profits in your trading. And I know today might be a little bit challenging. It, the, you know, it's, it might be one of those days where it's just kind of a watch, wait and see. Uh, protect yourself in the market. Remember, uh, take some profits. We can't be a winning trader unless we are comfortable with taking profits. So if you have profits in trades, might be a good time to peel a little bit of those profits off. Reduce some of that pressure in your portfolio um, as we wait for this decision to uh, come around. So um, let's take a look at a, well, before we take a look at a few stocks that are setting up, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, guys, this stuff is, what I do is, is, is an attempt to help everyone um, look at the different things affecting the market for the day and how we might want to approach the market for the day. There's nothing about my uh, my work here that provides any kind of a prediction as to which way the market will go. Just those points of interest that we have to be focused on. And hopefully that helps some of you uh, back away from some of the emotion that you might be dealing with in the market. I can tell you for me, um, this work was very, very important for me in turning my trading around and allowing me to do this full time for a living. Um, and if you find this helpful, if you could also please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment because it helps us continue to grow this channel. I want to say thank you to everyone who leaves these wonderful, wonderful comments. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate everything that you do. And... Um, and sharing on this channel. And with that in mind, if you guys um, have some ideas as to what might happen, I'd love to hear your ideas about what you think might happen. Will the president uh, pull back on the tariff situation? Will they go into place? If you have some ideas or opinions on that, please feel free to share them. I'd love to hear your comments um, on that. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Now, remember, every time I uh, talk about stocks, um, that they there is no recommendation to buy or sell anything in this video. Everyone should evaluate anything that I show you here and decide if that is worthy of your trading plan, even fits your trading plan, and make those decisions whether or not you like those trades. Take a look at UNH. Now, UNH has been really a very, very strong stock. And as you can see, I have a price alert here on the chart. And we have a beautiful beautiful trend coming into play and as this moves over toward this trend I would want to keep an eye on UNH for that possibility of that break higher now the reason I'm looking for a break higher is because the, it is has been in such a strong trend this is one of those charts we used to call a stepper where we just move up create a step move up create a step move up and holding up very, very well. Now, of course, any of this new spin on tariffs or whatever could certainly um, change this uh, pattern. We could easily break down. So keep that in mind if you're looking at this chart. Watch that pretty closely um, as um, the week progresses. But this still could be setting up and one we want to keep an eye on. AXP, kind of interesting. We've seen nice moves in MasterCard and Visa here recently. AXP has been lagging behind. Had a really nice four-day move up. And you can see we're in this area where we're testing a resistance in here that's fairly strong. But if AXP can consolidate here or maybe pull back and rest right in this area, there may be an opportunity for AXP to kind of catch up with Visa and MasterCard and something we might want to keep an eye on um, looking pretty decent. Now, a couple places you might want to look, and this is something that um, is um, looking for 
you know, market being weak, market being um, uncertain, take a look at stocks like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is a defensive sector stock. You can see in that defensive sector, we had some nice rallies here last week. Breaking back through this downtrend now, keep in mind, Coke had really good earnings reports this last time and sold off as a result of that. I don't know what the deal was there, but um, breaking back through that downtrend. So any rest, pullback or consolidation in here could set up that opportunity to go higher. And oftentimes, um, if the market is a little bit uncertain or becomes uncertain, we looked for those defensive sector stocks to move up as kind of a protection area, a place where folks can rest their money, get some dividend yield, those kind of things um, as we wait. Take a look at TAL. Now, TAL, I mentioned this last week um, to take, keep an eye on this. This is another one of those patterns where we've just been moving up nicely and, um, and resting in a consolidation area. And as you can see, kind of moving up through here and popping on through. And I would caution everyone to watch this closely. We're quickly approaching this resistance level in the chart. Mentioned that last week. It's looking really good still following through, moving on up, but watch that resistance area in the chart if you have gotten involved in that stock. And it's entirely possible, you know, TAL can just pop right on through there. If it pops right on through, holds it as support, there's still upside potential then. Blue sky above if that were to occur. You might want to keep an eye on a little bit of technology. A little bit of technology has, has had some struggle here. And depending on what goes on with this trade situation is going to, going to be really important. Intel for some time was re resting right in this area. And we were looking for that breakout in this chart. But since that time, it broke the support. And this rally back last week certainly was not impressive at all, uh, along with the rest of the market. So keep an eye on Intel. We've broken this trend. Um, we could have a failure pattern starting to develop here on Intel. Watch that closely. If technology continues to, to struggle along here, um, that could be kind of a rough thing for the market. So keep an eye on Intel. With that, everyone, hey, I'm running out of time here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please, once again, do me a favor and click that subscribe button and leave a brief comment. Everyone, have a great day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.